we're trying to escape instead of running away we're trying to find different entering points of the Absolutely. same thing totally well what if i go around back you still gonna go inside and <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be like oh you're my god you're still here you're still here <laughs> So, for today's video, we're going to be talking about surviving your 20s while everything is on fire. We are barely surviving. Barely so. got here today, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah. What was, like, y'all's worst year in your 20s so far? It's the way, first off, I dissociated through so much of this and also yeah. deleted so many memories. Um Love. I feel like 19 to 20, ass. 22 to 23, ass again. So navigating your 20s in times like these is beyond uncomfortable. Zero out of 10 would not recommend to a friend. Parade is a company that understands the Gen Z struggle, and that's why they're the sponsors of today's video. If times are going to be tough, you might as well get comfortable. I've been in dire need of new underwear for a minute now because a lot of my old pairs were either not holding up or super uncomfortable underneath my clothes. These right here are from Parade's new cotton collection and all of their underwear is made from upcycled cotton. They're also antimicrobial, meaning no yeast infections. These are by far the most comfortable and appealing pairs of cotton underwear that I've ever owned. The fabric fits to your body's natural shape so effortlessly. It also doesn't shift around like a lot of other cotton underwear does as you go throughout your day. These right here are a couple items from their Glow Satin collection, and Parade Satin is way more washable, durable, and ethical than traditional silk. As someone who hates wire bras and atrocious underwear lines, I really appreciate that these offer security that's not too restricting in designer feel. The material is super soft and smooth, and underwear of this quality usually costs way too much. It's really nice to have variety without feeling the need to break the bank. Thanks to Parade, you can use the code KAI40 for 40% off site-wide with no minimum purchase. A huge shout out to Parade for sponsoring, and now back to the video. We were on lockdown at mm. 21. So yeah. I think for that time, it was like a little True. bit of like a social break. And I was like, oh, yeah. like, maybe I can do this. So like, once like we started going back to like work and stuff like that, it was like, oh, okay, like... I don't know. I feel like for me, it's between... 22 and 23 for different reasons like 22 i would delete that year because i'm still recovering from the mistakes that i made that year absolutely but 23 was just rough yeah in between 22 and 23 it'll like turn you all the way inside out and it's just like do better <laughs> it's like yeah. wait like i wasn't ready turning 23 was i don't know very much like okay i gotta be real with myself now like you know 24 like, yeah like i gotta be real with myself yeah. like we're we're over like you know the mid 20s hump or whatever but like you said it is the whole like oh your 20s should be like the best years of your life yeah. and i'm like wait are y'all like <clears throat> not out here like trying to survive or what like you said literally everything uh shut down on the day of my birthday in 2020 when Damn. i turned 21 i'm so sorry and so i feel like one already have social anxiety already yeah. wasn't about to be outside you know but then obviously definitely wasn't outside after that yeah and i think too like stepping into your 20s during the pandemic also kind of i don't even know what is a normal 20s experience because you yeah. didn't have it but I'm trying to think, I mean, to be real, like, I was in toxic relationship most of my 20s. And yeah. so that's why I feel like I would love to just throw all of that away. No, to, to be, be honest. honest. It's of, <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of grieving. Yeah. 100%. For sure, it's just like, even just like the transition from being a teenager to 20s is like violent. It's yeah. like now you're off on your own, figure it out. And I, I don't know, like you have to really mess up to figure out a lot of stuff, unfortunately. 100%. So much ego death. Like, <laughs> man, I feel like every year I feel like a new character unlocked. It's kind of fucked up when you grow up fast and then you turn 18 and it just gets faster. Like, if you have like toxic parents, um, then when you turn an adult, like things also change totally with expectations or like lack of support i mean 
if you even had that to begin mm -hmm. with. Yeah. I feel like I personally like thought that I was more grown than I actually was when I was 20, 21, 22. And yeah. now I'm looking back like mid 20s is just like accepting that you know nothing. Literally. For real. No. Just Absolutely. No, yeah. sure. Absolutely. Like you be saying, like the adult 14 for real. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah. Just out here, cause there's no like I don't know, there's no guide, and like you said, depending on like what like your familial relationships are like, and if you have like elders and like you know yeah. like a kind of sense of like wisdom <clears throat> being like ingrained into you, then mm -hmm. it's just like damn, we really just out here like fucking around, finding out. You Absolutely, know what I'm saying? especially like, when your parents like I hit the age that like my womb landlord stopped growing yeah mm. like i mean she was always giving teenager Absolutely. but then it's like you once you pass your, your parents that is mm -hmm. such a mind fuck like yeah. yo i can't yeah. relate to you and, and then like yeah. i feel like we really started like it started going downhill because you have nothing else to teach me like yeah. no offense but like, like, actually no, no but, offense actually. Yeah. but like big offense but yeah like, and i was like actually <laughs> you're not <laughs> no but like truly. pull up these are the homies i really like did not give y'all a proper introduction <laughs> Hello, Kai from editing. We were honestly struggling really bad with introductions, so for time's sake, I'm just gonna do them on my own. On the left, we have Z. Z is 24, pronouns they, him, Aries son, about to be 25 or whatever, a painter among other things, and just real as fuck. On the right, we have my good friend A. A is 25, pronouns they, them, a Pisces son, fiber artist, as you can see, also among other things, and yeah, just a rare individual. Honestly, so blessed to have these two as my friends. I have the video broken down into categories, but we all have ADHD, so 100%. we may not hit everything. <laughs> I feel like living, making money, and mental health in your 20s are all like so directly correlated because they yeah, all just kind of sure. like go into each other. Yeah. I mean, relationships too. Living. Okay. Living. Living in the 20s. Yeah. I have lived solo, I've lived with roommates, and I've lived with family. They all have been rough. Pros of solo living, obviously like getting to do your own thing. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, on the autistic tip, getting to unmask and like mm -hmm. not worry about judgment and things of that nature. Yeah. I think that I was also what, 2021 20, at the time that I was living solo. So like I said, was acting a little bit too grown. A lot of people in the crib that should not have been in the crib. Mm. I don't think that I really like treasured it as like that safe space quite yeah. yet. And now I get it. But yeah, I guess cons is just like wanted to, you know, yeah. because I was like doing this forever. Yeah. It's 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 not worth it. And so yeah, I got a roommate, but that also sucked. It'd be such like a toss in the air. I feel like especially with the roommate situation, if you just like find a roomie type shit and it's like, okay, now I have to like trust this person like with my yeah. livelihood essentially. And I feel like that's always been kind of like the I don't know, the downfall, like we are saying, like, mm -hmm. splitting the financial house responsibility, nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. on that tip, but... That's not even guaranteed, though, at times. Heavy on that, because mm -hmm. niggas do 100%. not like to clean. <laughs> like, every time that bathroom needs to get clean, everybody's ghost. Complete strangers is different from family. You know. I don't know, they can be their own kinds of hell, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Sometimes I just prefer, like, hell that I know. That's familiar. 100%, <laughs> right? Yeah. 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 Because there's so many reasons why, like, certain things happen, like, I feel like trying to understand somebody and then kind of not wanting to... I don't know, like, even if we're mentioning cleaning up and stuff, it's, like, yeah. especially on, like, a neurodivergent tip, totally. like, you never know, you know, what is causing something or, like, if you're being insensitive and then, yeah. like, but it's also your space, so, like, you know? how do you yeah. balance between respecting your own, like, Boundaries. rules and stuff that you go by and, like, yeah. sharing that space? It's kind of like grown-ups, like, learning how to, like, share, you know, like, when you're in kindergarten, yeah. you're, like, 
this mm. is how you play with others. Yeah. You do this and that. And yeah. then you like live with someone else. It's like, it's like this uh, is a common space. <laughs> right? right? You, yeah. And this is yeah. your own shit over here. Yeah. Like, when you leave, you have to pick up your toys. <laughs> yeah. you have to put them do you know what I mean? Like, like hey, you please. share these things. This you can have yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you ask. want to touch that <laughs> and it's mine, just ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, and then, no, too, really. I will say, like, living solo, something that was the biggest pro and con for me is just, like, having my own space and self isolating mm. like a part of it i was like yeah. so grateful <laughs> to be able to have the, my yes. own space <laughs> yep <laughs> and then like i don't even think i had anybody i could go so long without talking to people and yeah. then especially like just working off my laptop i'm just basically away totally from everything and everyone no, no, so i think that's same. something too is like that year like i feel like i was very much so in my own world which i mean i always am but like yeah it, it kind of got bad but i feel like i was processing so much that i actually needed that alone time totally mm -hmm. but i wasn't reaching out for support like through the processing mm -hmm. i mean i guess depending on where you live kind of nerve-wracking knowing that like if something happened to you oh the safety the yes. safety tip of it all <laughs> the paranoia yes like, oh and then, hell and then like you try to convince yourself like in the middle of the night you hear that creak you hear that bump and it's like it's nothing <laughs> listen <laughs> Safe. It's like sick. everything's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's, everything's cool. Everything's cool. Like, growing up, like always living with a lot of people, mm -hmm. I developed like a very strong sense of comfort with living with others. Mm -hmm. Just in like a way of like, like you said, like okay, like if anything goes down, at least like we all in here together. You know right. what I'm saying? Or just like knowing somebody else is like in the house with me type yeah. shit. But I mean, obviously, it depends who. It's actually been so humbling turning 25 recently because priorities are different. Yeah. What I'm valuing is different. I was seeking refuge, like, in trying to create it for myself, basically, like, my whole 20s. And then I feel like, I don't know, I guess, like, I was externally trying to find that more so. And now I'm internally, like, taking the steps for that being back with family you can kind of like feel like you're regressing or just like reverting 100%. back it's like constant reminders of all the things that you were trying to like escape from and run away from it's traumatizing totally. on many tips yeah. <laughs> um but then again it's just like i don't know sometimes i feel like if i can get through this like this feels like the boss level for some reason <laughs> You know? It does, though, because it's full <laughs> yeah. circle. We're yeah. back at, like, we just came around, so. Yeah, yeah, because this is the last what is, resort. No. What is like, it? Truly. Yeah. No, honestly, I feel like lately been thinking about, like, damn, like, what if I, like, never left the crib? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you know? because it's like, revert, like. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. now it's like, man, like, all that time, all that trauma, all that money spent, yes. all the debt collected just yes. to be right back, like, where I started type shit. Yeah. But. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have, like, mentally made it through, like, yeah, before, no. you know what I'm saying? So, like you said, definitely yeah. just have, sometimes gotta go out, live a little life, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, honestly, like, a very, I feel like, valuable, I mean, unfortunate that, like, it comes with so much <laughs> strife, yeah. but, you know, a very valuable, like, classroom, you know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. being able to go out and experience things and now knowing, like, yeah, I would never do that again, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? For real. Even my most traumatic experiences, like, brought me some of my favorite people. Yeah. You know? Like, isn't that crazy? Like, yeah. would not want to go through it again. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, that's the thing, though. It's like, you kind of just go around and you collect, like, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> yeah. We don't leave that. But, you know? <laughs> and it's like, okay. Then sweet. you, like, have, like, you know, a collection of valuables yeah from yeah. said trenches literally so essentially yeah. i feel like that's literally what living oh, is <laughs> no, <laughs> literally life museum because that's really what this shit's about i think we get so caught up and i guess like, like you were saying kind of like chasing like 
I don't know, to, like, meet a certain quota at a certain time, 100%. to, like, keep up with the social ladder and what, yeah. like, everyone else is doing, girl. It's just yeah. like, oh, okay, like, you're at this point in your life, so now you should have accomplished this, this, and this, and this. And I don't know. Yeah. So definitely just out here, like, releasing the shame, because it's not easy. Uh, no. Been, and at this point, yeah. like, it's very common, too. Yeah. Like, I have to remind myself that, like, a lot of people right now aren't able to sustain themselves like living alone like right. that is just really That's tough just the reality yeah. yeah and they raising them prices it's every day i'm just thinking about like how can i just like survive until next week like you know what i'm saying next yeah. day no next day for real like, yeah i was like week yeah. shit good for you hey tonight. <laughs> 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 like, for real. Man. so the next thing is Making money in your 20s. Listen. Also, just like... Yeah, who wants to take that one? <laughs> oh, <for laughs> real. Where are they doing that <laughs> It's like, okay, making money. But then, like, here's like being mentally, physically, spiritually well. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It never feels yeah. like there's like a healthy balance. I feel like especially living in a big city. I don't know, I just don't think there's like a healthy balance in general between the amount of energy that we exude. Uh, you know, like nobody should be having to work to live. You know what I'm saying? 100%. But I feel like especially like, I don't know, within within our gang, we're, we've just been talking more recently about like, yeah, like what can we do? Well, you know yeah. what I'm saying? How can we like expand on and like our interest and our talents and things yeah. like that <laughs> then it's like oh capitalism like telling me to go clock in you yeah, know what yeah. i'm saying and not really having like the time to yeah. actually like sit with the craft you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so sad man it just feels like yeah honestly never enough time i think that's really yeah. the thing like it's just the time that it takes to make money i think we are trying to find if there even is a way to like make money out. and yeah because again obviously going further into i feel like going further into the system that you are trying to exit is Absolutely. never the move totally but unfortunately you're kind of, i don't know it's just fucked up i it's think if more way. people were on the same wave yeah of being like none of us are gonna fuck with this absolutely then maybe we could do something more yeah. I mean, oh, yeah bartering is like the closest thing but even Definitely. that is just i think too many people are like addicted to their comfort like i get it we all want to yeah. be like safe and like have i don't know a comfortable living environment but like you said like the further you go into the system the harder it is to kind of like let go of okay. certain luxuries or just exactly. like yeah. things that you honestly like don't really need but yeah. you're kind of convinced that you do i don't know very like western culture of like okay like you make the money you work you make the money then like you're able to like get all these little things and like yeah. you said little luxuries and like instant mm -hmm. gratification yeah. you know what i'm saying and then it's like then you just have stuff not trying to play the game no more like yeah. this is not i think they feel that game. though like yeah. and i think that's why there's like a war on like the houseless and just like making it scarier to be houseless as Absolutely. well because it's like okay i feel like pandemic hit people been saying oh gen z this that like all these people they're taking back their power totally. they're quitting jobs quicker yeah they don't care about this they don't care about that so then at a certain point like systems like okay what do y'all care about right oh like let's hit them where it hurts so right. that they'll start working again like one we're gonna up the prices we're gonna make it extremely easy to be houseless yeah and then we're going to make it illegal and then we're gonna do all these things and it's like the smoke and mirrors even though a lot of us never had the privilege of a smoke and mirror but the smoke and mirrors are gone yeah and so it's like okay now we're seeing it for what it is we all see it and we still clocking in we right. all hate it and we all know that like this is a setup and we still feel the need to because at this point now it's less about playing pretend yeah. and more about now that yeah. you see it well that doesn't matter still because we could I mean, like, we can put these things in place to scare you into doing these things. Yeah, like, totally. it's yeah, fucked like, up. Yeah, because, like, becoming aware 
that just be the first step of like a thousand truly 100 percent. and just like even being able to like handle that awareness i feel like it's something that people don't talk about because yeah. like oftentimes like i don't know i'd be depressed is hell just thinking about what's the point yeah like genuinely if we're all you know rolling down this hill why am i gonna join and roll down the hill as well it's like one of those things like you know when your parents were like if johnny jumped off the bridge would you do it too and it's like we're all jumping off with the bridge yes yeah, yeah. so i guess we would i think that the answer to a lot of our at least like gen z a lot of our struggles is community. Social media has really gotten in the way of us being, I don't know, more like communally involved. Like in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. the taste of socializing through the internet mm-hmm. can yeah. like give you that fix enough to totally. not socialize outside. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, when people have been bringing up like, oh, if the internet like went down, like one thing I would say is, Motherfuckers is gonna come outside more. Yeah. Motherfuckers is gonna link up because yeah. what? Like now I'm completely out of touch. Yeah. With reality, uh, yeah. with my community, totally. but in reality, we are out of touch right now. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like literally, and that's yeah. the thing. Like absolutely, like collectively, we are not incapable of like adapting. It's okay to admit that. Like I don't know, you just need support or like you need more information on something you know what i'm saying before moving because that's also i guess how it can feel it's like all action but like no actual like i guess like reassessing or like coming together and like you know collaborating and things like that which is also like a really important aspect of just making like radical change you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. but just like the responsibility that comes with just like knowing that the systems around us are (laughs) like insustainable crashing and burning not built for us to survive then it's like okay it's kind of like what now i think it's okay to like take our time like nothing nothing like issue like radical revolutionary is gonna happen like overnight i also don't think it's something inherently that we can like prepare for you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. like if she's gonna touch down she's gonna touch down and we're just gonna have to like adjust you know yeah, like yeah. that's what i'm saying so yeah like we have the capability to change and to adapt for the better it's just like like you said when it comes to comfort you know what are we willing to give up. to give up for real you know what i'm saying yeah working with the basics i feel like it's still a skill even if it seems like something that's not really desirable yeah. at the end of the day because i feel like the more wealth that you have i feel like the less skills you have because you can just get other people to do those things for you and like obviously everybody has like different capacities and things that they're able to do but i don't know like yeah that's no. it yeah, that's real. <laughs> and that ain't that's so real. like, like clink. exactly <laughs> what you talking about like, <laughs> i was going wrap it up wrap it up yeah. we're done yeah. we're done yeah making money in your 20s zero ten yeah like yeah. all cons we all we actually all are like have our little businesses or have yeah. had our little businesses, yeah. you know. The idea of it hits better than you know <laughs> the, the actual, reality of yeah. it. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that on that. No, yeah, the entrepreneurship <laughs> definitely sold a dream on that one. And that's really like, though it is like we're trying to escape, and we're like. Instead of running away, we're trying to find different entering points of the Absolutely. same thing. Totally. Well, what if I go around back? You still gonna go inside and <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be like, oh you're my still, god! You're still here. You're still here. <laughs> you're gonna run yeah. out and you're you gonna have to find saying? another way. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's pick your poison. You could have preferences on who you're selling your time to, totally. what you're doing while you sell your time. But yeah. at the end of the day, baby, you selling. Yeah. yourself yeah for sure so yeah no matter how you craft it up like work is work man i don't know at a point of performing in a way essentially you know yeah. what i'm saying like 
because it's like, oh, now I have to be this, like, business person, you know yeah. what I'm saying? This business persona, or, like, I have to be a brand yeah. and things like that, which is also, like, an investment in itself, like... We're the product. Um, but I will say, I'd rather sell myself, though. Mm. I mean, I guess it's, it's, it's like, that's you know? the thing, though, like, work is, like, all about how you want to exploit yourself. Yes. Literally. Exactly. Like, like you said, you just gotta pick. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like what do you like... feel most comfortable with Yeah. Yeah. that you hate? Finding work, especially nowadays, I don't know. I wasn't tapped into, like, just how difficult that shit is. And, like, even now, when it comes down to jobs where you would think that it'd be, like, easy entry, easy access, it is not that whatsoever. Like, jobs are posting... Um, that they're looking for people, they don't actually be looking for anybody. They just put that out there. And it's honestly kind of disrespectful. Like, I actually got an email back from a job, what was it, yesterday, saying, like, thank you, but it had, like, do not reply at the top. (laughs) Oh, hell no. I was like, okay, cool. But, like, I was still grateful that they let me know what was up. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of places, like, just will not reach out. And it's just, like, you're always in limbo. I think the Illinois minimum wage is like thirteen, fourteen now, but even That's then, it's just like, with the way things are costing, we should all be like minimum thirty to right. live, but to also like, I don't know. I was gonna say live again because like no, you know, I was thinking like, yeah, to, live, to, like, to live. survive, but to, to yeah. live. Like, yeah. like no, truly, like working just to be like check to check. Like okay, my bills are paid, but then it's like I've only clocked in this week and nothing else. I fed myself. Yeah, and surviving. That's it. Literally, like yeah. to be able to do it again. You, next week having little things to look forward to 100%. and really be carrying man, everything like, and be carrying yeah. that's all it is like little, little checkpoints truly yeah. i have a debt on here but like i don't We're even know all in it. Even <laughs> 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 so much i know that girl <laughs> like no for real like mm. she's not a friend to have good credit, you have to go into debt. When you exist, really look like, at things, like, I just want to destroy everything. Yeah. Bro. Like, <laughs> like paying something off and your score drops, that's sick. Make it make sense. It's like, so sick. So, on my YouTube community tab, Bob the Builder really <laughs> wants to know. Hey. No, actually. <laughs> okay, shout out Bob. Um, gang, gang. Wants to know... How do I stop yearning for love? I want to find love, but I also need to work on myself before I do so, so I don't mess someone's life up. But how do I push down those feelings of wanting someone? Don't push down the you feelings. You don't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where it's like, if you act like it doesn't exist, sometimes it just Magnifies. makes it, yeah, it makes it worse. Um, and yeah, like, it's okay to want love. It's also good to be honest about, like, where you are at in life. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. There's there's many sides to it. Like, you don't need to be perfect or, like, at some a super accomplished place to be suddenly, like, worthy of love. Absolutely. You know? Because it's, like, also... If you only open yourself up to love when you are in those really good places, sometimes you don't even know, like, who is really down for real, for real. Oh my and life. not just there, like, for the resources and the things that you can provide. Truly. So, yeah. It's also helpful to know that, like, yeah, I may be kind of toxic and, like, somebody else doesn't deserve to go through that. I feel like it would have right. saved me a lot if people could have been honest with themselves yeah. <laughs> Man. but um yeah i'd say like don't ignore the feeling um yeah i feel like love like like you said there's definitely no shame in wanting love and connection and passion and like closeness like yeah we're all like we all want that comfort you know what i'm saying especially with like another person you know what i'm saying but yeah, like you said, I feel like when we, like, fixate ourselves on being, like, I don't know, like, a certain level of, like, readiness for connection, then it's, like, love, like, you're never going to be ready. And I think you learn, there's only so much growth that you can make 
by yourself mm. and then <laughs> it's kind of that point where you think that you're healed and then you let somebody in and because these parts of yourself haven't been accessed because you kind of tuck those away to focus on other parts of yourself to heal yeah. like new wounds may come up like what does it mean to be ready for love like you have to kind of see what about love do you want right now but yeah i guess it's just hard to find balance between like making sure that you're doing it for the right reasons and also being like fluid enough to allow yourself to do it for the wrong reasons sometimes or like find what you really are looking for within that like whole you know like scheme of things the yeah. connection yeah no that's so real and i also feel like when we're like i guess on the search for love or like the things that we feel can fill our cup i think there's also a point where we have to realize that like we're not gonna find all those things in one space you 100%. know what i'm saying so then it's yeah. like platonic as well you know yeah. like that's why it's like man get you some good homies yeah man like that love is out there it just may not yeah. look in the ways or it may not manifest in the ways that like you initially like anticipated or envisioned you know what i'm saying but like it exists you know it's just like love is so complex you know what i'm yeah. saying um and i think like i said everybody's craving it everybody wants that you know what i'm saying but when we're ready to love and to be loved it's like you also gotta be ready to kind of be like cracked open you know what 100%. i'm saying like and have like parts of yourself exposed to you that like you may not be ready to see you know what i'm saying like because at the end of the day you're as you grow in connections with people like you're constantly being like tested in ways yeah. and like the way like you grow alongside people it's like okay like how can our dynamic or how can our relationship like also like shift in these places <laughs> Stop, right? you know yeah. and then it's like being open to change i guess which is so like eh, you know what i'm yeah. saying like to hear but i feel like a lot of good things are never really things that like you're ready for and they always kind of hit you sideways and then you're like oh wait like i'm here now you know what i'm saying i'm at like this point yeah. in my journey now yes. like you know it's like oh wait yeah. <laughs> like who would have thought like yeah. you know what i'm saying Hope you build some good connections, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> build those connections, Bob. Build those connections. How do you navigate relationships that are not necessarily toxic but still harmful? The people or partners or parents who say nice things and provide encouragement but ultimately still reinforce systems of ableism, homophobia, racism, sexism when they present it as just a joke. The people who probably vote liberal but aren't willing to have a conversation about how to unpack and undermine the systems that perpetuate inequality. So I actually wrote notes on this Period. Um, because, all right, first I would like to say, like, I just, the just joking folks, Yeah. I am just so sick of that, like, stand on business or sit down at this they point don't jokes. it's never <laughs> a joke never really you're scary <laughs> and you're saying things and cowering after hate that yeah but also i just feel like as somebody who has faced aggressive forms of abuse as well as passive forms of abuse it took me a while to come to terms with the type of i know they had phrased it as this is not toxic that is toxic right. okay like i'm so sick of people who are passive and passive aggressive being able to get off the hook with being extremely abusive dismissive and completely like manipulative it's a slow burn abuse mm -hmm. yeah and like you don't realize that every little comment is chipping at you yeah every little thing that they're saying until down the line you realize like oh you have actively been attacking me yeah. though maybe like little by little you are taking bits of me yeah. like we're in aries season mercury's in aries for me yeah i feel like obviously like 
boundaries <laughs> are your best friend. Literally. But if your boundaries are not being respected, you're going to have to stand on business. I'm sorry. I'm, to to get I'm jam, sorry. Though. It's so tricky, too, because it's just like, I don't know, the extent to which you're able to set boundaries highly depends on the overall safety of totally. That's your really true. environment. So, like, sometimes setting boundaries isn't going to be the big moves that you think it is, but sometimes yeah. it's just, like, little things here and there. And it's sick that you have to, like, be so creative, you know, yeah, when it comes literally. down to, like, trying to have some sense of, like, security or, like, yeah. peace of mind. Passive people, more, more times than not, they're really just, like, living for, like, the emotional reaction out of you. You know what I'm saying? They just want to see how, like, they can, like, make your skin crawl and, like, get up under it. You yes. know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, such, like, poking the bear activity. You know what I'm saying? Just yes. to justify, like, because when you finally, like, get in that ass, and it's like, oh, wait, like... Don't go. I was just kidding. I didn't even really say anything. Shorty. Yeah. It's like you've been saying what little things. It? It's like um, plausible deniability mm. kind of situation. It's gaslighting. Yeah, yeah, no, it is. Sure. no, it sucks. I don't know. Like, I always prefer somebody, like, if you don't fuck with me or don't like me, like, for one, stay away, but two, like, <laughs> be, honest. be honest about it. You you know? But I think that's also what gets us, like, neurodivergent folks is, like, and I think that's what took me a second is if it's not overt, it's so hard to pick up. Yeah. And then if they're gaslighting you on top of it and you know that you don't take social cues well as like on top of that, like mm -hmm. then there's so much gray area where yeah, they can totally. use that against you For sure. and then you're double confused. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I've definitely like been in friendships where like months would go by and I was like, oh, that's what you meant. You hate my guts. Yeah. Crazy. 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 Never would have guessed. Scary. The scariest. Yeah. I'll say the scariest. I'll, I've had people just, it, like like you said, be up front. That's yeah. one thing. But one day you wake up and you realize like, oh, you're enemy number one. <laughs> you don't mean well real. by me. Because like, it's like, if you're not direct with me, there's not a problem. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know, just piecing shit together. And, like, I think something that's even more shitty is, like, having to run shit back, but, like, inserting what was actually going on the entire time. Yeah. Like, having to, like, 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 relive shit. Like, ooh. Painful. Like, yeah. yeah. Ooh la la. Okay. Yes. Maybe, like, a lighter note. Cute. Um, I cannot pronounce the name, but it says, when you get down in the dumps, what are some things you do to cope? Because I guess that's all we're doing at the end of the day. <laughs> Coping. Man. Love a little tune. Love a little meal. Overall check-in. <laughs> like, yes. love, 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 love a little meal. Love a little treat. Like, 100. you know, check in with the self. Check in with the homies. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, outside of that, you know, sometimes need a little movement. Sometimes need a nap. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like... No, it, I mean, it definitely ranges. More times than not, sun. When the sun be out, wow. Like, I don't have a single it's problem. Wow. crazy the difference. <laughs> I don't like, have a single what? problem. When the yeah, sun is sun out, bathing for sure. when it's warm, because I hate layers. It's just something, it's just, I feel so. I hate feeling I confined in general. Yeah. Like being yeah. outside, so healing, so therapeutic. Yeah. I mean, like, definitely tapping into, like, creative outlets when I have the energy, space, and time. Yeah. Crocheting. Wow. Even just finding community of people that just, like, get you can also be, like, a form of coping. Definitely. For yeah. sure. Oh, hell yeah. I definitely love a good craft. So, crocheting, jewelry making, sewing. Honestly, just anything to, like move my hands yeah dancing heavy hitting y'all up on go <laughs> man For real. the collective processing like, like you feel me guys <laughs> oh my gosh 
love a playlist making. That's that's fun. Like you said, just kind of yeah. like a a STEM, um, neurodivergent, like autistic superpower. Like yeah. I like like correlating like different sounds together, and I'm like, love oh it. yeah, like <laughs> oh yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> did something. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> like that's my little niche. That might be. That might be the yeah. video on gang. Yay! I really did that. I can't believe. Man, we made it here. No, honestly. Yeah, did, didn't think I was. <laughs> didn't think it was going to pull through. Like, honestly, it's such a great time. I'm <gasps> happy to be here, friend. Yay! Thank you for having well, us. No problem. Thank you. Hey, are we clapping? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally. No, honestly, every day deserves an applause. Like, oh, yeah. truly. Literally. Count yeah. it yeah. all the way. That would actually hit, though. It probably I would. <laughs> forward to it every day you know like, like you just lay you down and everyone's just like you good all right <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. we made it we're no heavy on going into tomorrow for real yeah but tomorrow Dang, I, just, I just thought about tomorrow and <laughs> i like the Don't clapping just like i said oh. another day of surviving your 20s <laughs> no actually <laughs> Dang. imaginary crowd said mm. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes you yeah. just gotta wake up, rinse, and repeat. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me midnight. You whip up my appetite.